Two great commandments. Love of God with all of our strength, all of our mind, all our soul, all our being. And to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Two great commandments. But really underpinning all those, these two commandments, is another love. And we get mentioned just with just a couple of words there at the end of the gospel. That we're called to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We're called to love ourselves. We can't love our neighbor, and it's pretty hard to love God if you don't first love yourself. And we know there is unfortunately in many places right throughout history, and even now at this time in history, there are some people who don't see themselves as being good. They don't like themselves. They don't even love parts about themselves. And you can't really love your neighbor. And it's really hard to love God if you don't see goodness in yourself. So tonight I want you to think about how you can love yourself. Now, love, self-love doesn't mean that you, you make yourself into the centre of the world, that it all becomes about you and your own uh, profile, your own um, power or control or, um, or whatever. But you need to be able to recognise good things in yourself. God doesn't create rubbish. He hasn't made us to be bad. He hasn't created us to be something to just disposal. There is goodness in each and every one of us. Whether that's the very young, like some of our, 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 our young, young men and women who are preparing for the sacrament of reconciliation, or to those who are quite mature. There is goodness in each of us. And we need to recognise there's goodness in each of us. And sometimes that goodness at times changes. And we need to be able to say, yeah, I love that part of myself. A few years ago, I was getting a bit frustrated about the fact that I had this wonderful hairstyle. And now I sort of think, well, I look around the church sometimes and I can see a few other people have that hairstyle too. And I think, oh, well, I can see it in them. It doesn't look too bad on them. So I think, oh, well, I'll love it in myself as well. And that's part of what we're called to do. Love what's in ourselves, and then be able to see it in others as well. You can't love your neighbour as yourself unless you first love yourself. So you need to recognise those good qualities that are in you. Say, yeah, I like that about me. I like this about me. And then you can go around the world and say, okay, that guy down the back's got the same hairdo as me. I recognise that in him, and I see it in myself too. And I can love that. And we can do that in lots of different ways. Hairstyles is an easy one. It's not really a choice, this one. But there are other things that we sort of develop and, and we become passionate about. So sometimes we think, oh yeah, we want to love God, we want to love our neighbour. They're important. But unless we first love ourselves and recognise the goodness in ourselves that God's placed there, then it's going to be pretty hard to love our neighbour. And I think it's going to be pretty hard to love God as well. God's created us in his image and likeness. But sometimes we get impacted by all the, the rubbish or pollution that happens around the world. Sometimes people lose dignity in who they are. They think they are rubbish. And sometimes self-image becomes such a big deal. God's created us for greatness. Find that greatness. Because if you can find that greatness, it'll help you to love your neighbour. But it'll also help you to love God. Because God's created those good things in me. He's created those good things in each of us. And so we need to find those in ourselves, find those in others, and then give thanks to God for how that's present in our world. So we're called to love God, called to love our neighbour, and called to love ourselves. So maybe during the Mass as we enter into our Eucharistic prayer today, think about what qualities you've got that you love about yourself. And then maybe during this week, try to find that in other people as well. And to praise that, to give thanks for that in other people. It might be someone in your own family, it might be someone at school, it might be someone at work, it might be someone down the street. Find the good quality that you've got in yourself, the many qualities in yourself, in yourself, find that in others as well. And then give thanks to God in with all of your being. Before I started studying to be a priest, I was a, a normal person. 
I still like to think I'm a normal person, but some people don't think I am. At least sometimes I think I'm a normal person. But when I was in high school and when I was at university, I was a normal person. And I sometimes, uh, well, I had a few different relationships over those years as well. Priests don't often talk about these, these things. But I remember when I was in a number of different relationships, I would plan outings and dates. And I would put all of my being into that to try to make it a perfect experience for, for the person I was going out with at the time. And I would plan things, I'd look, look up things. Um, the early days of the internet, you could still find some information there back in the late 90s, early 2000s. And try to plan out the best experience. And our love of God should be like that as well. That we put everything that we have into that love of God. That we sort of use our mind to think about. We use our strength, we use our heart. We use our intelligence to really enter into that love of God. And that's what I think that first commandment is. Love God with all of your being. Those who are a little bit older know what that is when you enter into a relationship. That's a great experience to have. Because when we come to God, we don't just sort of do it as an afterthought. We put all of it into that love of God, like we would be in a relationship as well. And the relationship we actually have with God can actually be more intense than any other relationship. So tonight, let's think about the good qualities, those loving qualities in each of us. Love that in, in yourself. Try to find that in other people over the next few days. And maybe try to put all of your effort into growing in that love for God in our world during this week.